Let's solve this one together. It says x cubed plus x is equal to 10. I will write some for the values of x. Now, first thing to notice here is that the number of answers for x is equal to the highest power of x. Okay, so the highest power of x here is 3. So the number of answers for x will be equal to 3. Alright? So in order to solve this, let's find the first answer, then it will be easier for us to find the subsequent answer. So from here, we would have that our x can be factored out. So x into x squared plus 1 is equal to 10. Now let's list out the factors, the multiples for 10. We just list out the basic multiple for 10. What's the basic multiple for 10? Which is 5 times 2. Okay? So we'll try out this multiple. The next multiple for 10 will be 1 times 10. Okay? Alright? So these are the two main multiples for 10. Now let's just observe something. Looking closely here, this side is going to be bigger than this side. So supposing that this x now is the same as this x, right? So this side is going to be bigger than this side, okay? Because this is x squared and this is only x. Now, if we say that this side is equal to 10, it means that this side is equal to 1. Now, let's put 1 as x here. 1, okay, this is also 1. 1 squared is 1 plus 1 is 2. It's not equal to 10. When this side is 2, this side is 5, according to this, our law. So 2 here, 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So it means that this is the correct answer here. So we're going to have that our x here is equal to 2. We just deduce this, alright? So we just this is just a deduction that we made here. So our x is equal to 2. Now this is the first answer for x, but recall that we have three answers for x. So I'll give you some of the subsequent answers for x. Now if this x is equal to 2, it implies that x minus 2 from here is equal to 0. Okay? Just understanding this. Now let's rewrite this, this equation that we had here. So we have x cubed plus x is equal to 10. Now I can write this as x cubed plus 0x squared plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay? So this is our function. Or our equation rather. Now let's divide this equation by the factor which we've gotten. So we are going to divide this by x minus 2. Alright? So we divide this function by x minus 2 to get the remainder, okay? The remaining factor, right? Now. So continuing from here, we can say that x into x cubed is x squared, okay? So we have x squared. x squared times x minus 2 is x cubed minus 2x squared, okay? When we subtract this, we have plus 2x squared left. We can go ahead and bring down plus x here. This divided by this is plus 2x. This will give us 2x squared minus 4x, okay? When we subtract again, we have 5x minus 10, because we bring down this 10, all right? Now, this divided by this is plus 5, okay? So we have 5x minus 10, and this gives me 0, okay? So this is the division of this polynomial. Now, from here, we now have the two factors for this polynomial R, or for this equation R, x minus 2, multiplied by x squared plus 2x plus 5 and these two things are giving us 0, recall. Now, we can say that this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. If this is equal to 0, we already have that x is equal to 2, okay? Now, let's equate this. So, we have that x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. So, we use the quality formula. The quality formula simply states that x here will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, what's our a here? Our a here is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of x, which is 2. And our c is the coefficient of the single, the last number, which is 5. Okay? So we have here that our x here will become equal to minus b is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4. Minus 4 times 5 times this is minus 20. Okay? All over 2 times 1, which is 2. We now have that our x here will become equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 is than negative 16. Okay? All over 2. Now this is equal to minus 2 plus or minus negative root of negative 16 is i times root of 16, which is 4i. Okay? All over 2. Now this is equal to 2 divided by this is minus 1, plus or minus 2 into 4 is 2i, okay? So this is our answer for x, or we have that our x is equal to 2. So these are the three answers for x in this question. 
Okay, that's it. I hope you made sense. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.